What's going on YouTube? It's Cherry and Grey Hat. Anon. And I'm back again. We're not going to be doing no, This isn't part of the walkthrough. I'm actually going to play on my mage real quick. I just wanted to make a really quick video. I uploaded a video uh, a couple of days ago. I was on how to install Fable Lost Chapter for free. And I recommended on that video that you use Daemon Tools Live. Now I've had somebody, uh, it was actually a uh, updated version from a video I made a couple of years ago. Like I said, in the new one. Anyway, I just want to tell you why I recommend Daemon Tools over Power ISO. Because uh, it seems like uh, y'all was reading through a lot of the old comments on the older one that I did. The one that's got, you know, I think 23, 24,000 views. And a lot of people were having issues with Power ISO and not working correctly. And I just had someone yesterday. Uh, we can actually go and look real quick on my dashboard and see who you are. Jamie Mangles. Um, so you can actually go to that video real quick. Uh, let's go to video manager. Um, so anyway, the deal is is this right here, right? So screw down, look at the comments. She said she used Power ISO and it's stuck on the window that says insert disk one. I hope you don't mind me using it, by the way. Do I have to use Daemon Tools Lite? So to answer that question, uh, essentially, no, you really don't have to use Daemon Tools Lite because like I said in my old video, uh, let's see, I fish it. Hopefully, it's right here on the side. Yeah, right here it is. Uh, it's actually four minutes and forty-eight seconds because I already installed it. I'm just gonna pause that. So yeah, it's twenty-three thousand five hundred ninety. But I mean, uh, like I said, so why Damon Tools over Power ISO? So essentially, Power ISO likes to integrate itself in a lot of other things, uh, such as VLC or other things, and Power uh, and Damon Tools line it doesn't do that. Daemon Tools Lite will actually, it just, it doesn't embed itself into other programs like that, like VLC or anything like that, so that's, and as well with Power ISO, it requires a restart on the program, or it requires you to restart the computer for it to actually be able to create the virtual disk drives for you to be able to mount virtual ISO files, and you can't really, uh, now, but see with Daemon Tools Lite, you don't have to do that, there's no restart required, it's free, and like I said, just, a great program all around. You don't have to deal with all that nonsense. And you can always. Yeah, I mean, like I said, you can use Power ISO, but I really do recommend uninstalling Power ISO for you guys that do use it and you install Daemon Tools Lite. Uh, I'll link it down in the description, but like I said, it's a better program. It really is. It's a better software for mounting virtual ISO images. Uh, which is, you know, if we're gonna get a game for free like this, like, you, you really have to have that software. Uh, it's also, and Daemon Tools Lite is also good software for burning disc images, like DVDs or movies, or DVDs, movies, yeah, that's same thing. Music as well. You don't have to use your Windows Media Player to burn it. Um, or right, Shampoo is another software that's used for, like, CDs and movies and stuff like that. But, you can always use Power ISO if you do, you know, prefer that. Like I said, Damon Tools Lie. I mean, it's, I I was stuck on Power ISO, and you know, I had friends tell me, you know, use Damon Tools Lie. It's much better. But and for a while, I was like, no, I like Power ISO. It's what I've been using. It's what I'm used to. And then you just gotta break that comfort zone and switch over to Damon Tools Lie. And I am sure that you will enjoy it. And uh, I find find it to work quite a bit better than everything else, because it does work much much better. So I I hope you guys understand why I say Damon Tools. You know, uh, it's just. Your people that I've you know I've had people comment on my old video and now the new one saying you know asking me all these questions about issues that they were running into power running into with Power ISO and me personally I've never had any issues with Power ISO uh, except now on this computer I, I uh, it was with my brother's you know I was letting him use it and he ended up putting Power ISO on here instead of Damon Tools Lite so he could get a couple of games and. Now, like with this one, see, on this computer, the only trouble I've ever had with Power ISO is if I mount an image, it fails to eject the image. I have to literally close Power ISO and force it to kill the virtual disk drive to be able to unmount it. Or I have to remount a disk over that. Like I say, I have one drive set, drive G, which is what I have it set to right now, it's called drive G. I have to remount another disk image on top of that image to replace it. And it's kind of a pain in the ass, but so again, like I said, like I said, I really highly do recommend Damon Tools Lite. 
and that would be why I prefer Damon Tools Light over Power ISO. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up, leave a comment below, and subscribe for more. Any suggestions or any content you guys do want to see, just like I said, drop a comment, and I'll do my best to get it uploaded for you guys. Thanks. Have a good day.